Today, we'll find the derivative of secant 2x using the first principles approach. Let's break this down step by step. Let's start by defining our function. Let f of x equal secant 2x. Then f of x plus h equals secant of 2 times x plus h. By definition, the derivative is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x, all divided by h. Substituting our function, we get the limit as h approaches 0 of secant of 2 times x plus h minus secant of 2x, all divided by h, since secant is 1 over cosine. We can rewrite this as the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over cosine of 2x plus h minus 1 over cosine of 2x, all divided by h. To subtract these fractions, we need a common denominator. Multiplying both terms by their respected denominators gives us cosine of 2x minus cosine of 2x plus h over the product of the cosines. Now we can use the cosine difference formula. The difference of cosines equals negative 2 times sine of their sum over 2 times sine of their difference over 2. Simplifying the arguments in the sine terms, we get sine of 2x plus h times sine of h in the numerator. We can split this into separate limits. The limit of sine of 2x plus h as h approaches 0 is sine of 2x. The limit of sine h over h as h approaches 0 is 1. And the limit of cosine of 2x plus h is cosine of 2x. Finally, we can write this as 2 sine of 2x over cosine squared of 2x, which equals 2 tangent of 2x times secant of 2x. Therefore, the derivative of secant of 2x equals 2 tangent of 2x times secant of 2x. And that's how we find the derivative of secant 2x using first principles. Thank you for watching.